from the campus of Arkansas State University, this is Centennial Reflections. Welcome to Centennial Reflections, a look at the history of Arkansas State University from its beginnings as an agricultural school back in 1909 to its present status as a multi-purpose university. I'm Rich Carville, host for this series, and our guest today is uh, Jonesboro Mayor Harold Perrin. Harold has many connections to ASU, both as a student, as a member of the Board of Trustees, and of course as the Chief Executive Officer for the City of Jonesboro. Harold. Glad to have you here today. Thank you. Very much delighted what, to be here. What was it like uh, being a student uh, at Arkansas State University back in the late 60s when you were here? Well, it, we, had a, we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of uh, uh, interesting times here at, uh, when I transferred here in 67. Uh, of course, obviously the board, uh, the, the uh, student body was nothing compared to what it is today, the size. Much smaller. Much yeah. smaller. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I can remember the, uh, the old wigwam. Uh, that was uh, where we all gathered in between class and visited and things of that nature. But, and that uh, was in the basement of Wilson Hall, right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. That's right. And uh, now you look up and see the new student union, it's just, it just amazes me. But, uh, but uh, everybody was, seemed like they was very close, knew a lot of people because of the number that was here. And uh, we just had a great time. The College of Business at the time was located in Wilson Hall, and so you had, uh, as a business uh, administration major, you had all most of your classes right there in Wilson Hall. I had every class in Wilson Hall. And in fact, again, I transferred here to uh, to Arkansas State, and uh, and I was a second uh, semester junior. So the entire period that I was here on campus, every class that I had was in Wilson Hall. Did you have a favorite teacher? Uh, I had uh, probably Robert Flasco, and the reason for that, I think, is that uh, uh, Dr. Flasco uh, put a little humor in the class and made it very interesting, and I think uh, because of that, he, he, uh, he kind of got the students in a, in a, in a mood of to learn, and I think that was, uh, a, a tri or I guess it's just an asset that he has. Well, that, that memory sticks with you. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I understand they declared a holiday when you first came. Yes. <laughs> I hadn't been here but just uh, a few months, and then all of a sudden it went from Arkansas State College to Arkansas State University, and uh, when Governor Rockefeller uh, signed the order, and uh, we got a whole day off. So uh, to get a full day out of class was great. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an important one of the changes that, yes. that you've seen. Uh, what are some of the other changes that you've seen over the years? I think uh, the, the, the big things uh, to the eye probably is the campus has grown so large as far as the number of buildings uh, that you see when you drive through uh, the campus. But really, me being so close to ASU on the inside is to see that we now uh, offer doctoral programs that we didn't have when I was going to school here. Uh, the first one is uh, in education and now we offer more than just that. And uh, the number of courses that are offered in ac the academics, uh, the, the schedule is much larger than it was when I was here in the uh, 1967 through 69. What, what made you decide to transfer to Arkansas State? Well, <clears throat> the college that I was going to, I, I knew I wanted to get a degree in business. And uh, investing with professors, they uh, said, you know, Harold, you've had just basically all the courses we have here and there's many more courses that are out there. And depending on what you want to do with your life, and at that time I, I had chosen to go into finance. And so he said, uh, I'm going to give you a couple of options. And Arkansas State College was one of those options. And uh, I chose to come to Jonesboro, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad I did. Um, one of the physical changes that occurred on campus, which perhaps improved the look of the campus more than anything else, was the housing for married students changed. That's correct, that is correct. What did we have? 
Well, you had some uh, you had some house trailers. You had many house trailers, and uh, but uh, just in the last uh, what five to six years, we had all those moved out because uh, the university got those uh, trailers through funds that they had to be there at least 25 years to 30 years, and so when that time was up, obviously it uh, the trailers were in, were in a uh, uh, shape that needed to be replaced, and so that's the biggest thing I think, and the second thing. Uh, that's the focal point of this university today, I think, is actually two buildings. Uh, one is the, uh, the student union for the students. There's no question about that because I'm here and, and uh, many of uh, the people in Jonesboro come here uh, two to three times a year to attend things in the uh, student union. But to the, but to the other people is the library. And that's the, uh, I, I would say, the tallest building in Jonesboro, Arkansas. And the President of the United States came to dedicate that. Exactly right. A dear friend of mine I, I knew for a number of years, uh, William Jefferson Clinton came and, uh, when he was a setting president and uh, dedicated the library for us. Sure did. Now, I heard a story that you didn't make it through the security lines in time to be there. Is that's, that right? That, <laughs> that's right. The, uh, the, you know, uh, if you don't get here early for something like that, you just don't get in. and. Uh, uh, I'm sure they were backed up to Johnson Avenue and, and uh, probably all the way down to uh, the railroad tracks uh, uh, down on uh, Church Street. But uh, uh, it was a huge crowd, probably one of the largest crowds, I guess, that's, that's ever gathered uh, for, for an event here at uh, Arkansas State University. Well, Harold, if it makes you feel any better, I had scheduled an out-of-town trip that uh, that yeah. day that he was supposed to be here, so I missed it all. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I understand it was a great, great, uh, great event for the uh, for the students as well as the faculty, and, and of course, obviously, not only Jonesboro, Northeast Arkansas. So, it's a good day. We'll talk some more about uh, Harold Perrin's remembrances of Arkansas State University as a board member when we come back in just a moment. 